Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Flows. Um, we're joined by a new guest today. I'm with Michael Tolan. How are you, Michael? Yeah, great, Blake. How are you? Having a good day? Yeah, I'm having a good good day. Thanks for joining our, our first uh, Friday Flows with you here. I'm excited. Um, we're doing a really popular one today. Before we jump in, would love to just understand your role here at Tynes. Sure, sure. So I'm Michael from Tynes Labs, kind of a new-ish initiative, maybe eight-ish months, just under a year, uh, kind of doing a bit more research and development, kind of seeing where is the like current security landscape and outside of security and IT, like what are people using, what do they want to automate, and yeah, part of my job is trying to connect the dots and seeing how this can be automated just to make people's lives easier, pretty much. Cool. Yeah, these are the brains behind the story library. So whenever we do one of these, we head over to the story library, we grab a, a story out of there and we do the demo. They've now built that library uh, in tandem with our customers, prospects, internal folks at Tynes up to over 600 stories. I'm sure you know the close to the exact number. I think 643 at this particular moment. So yeah, this will date it a lot if we check back in a year to see how much it's grown by then. Yeah, it's fun doing the record count. Uh, well, cool. We've done some uh, very popularly used ones, particularly around CrowdStrike, Elastic as part of this series. We've done some of the more fun ones or niche ones out of the story today, which I can't believe it took us to episode uh, 15 or whatever here. We're going to do the number one popularly used story that is around email phishing. So I'd say let's just jump into it. Sure, will do. Um, let me share my screen. This should be coming up. Yep. Good to go. Um, so I guess by all means, it's kind of no surprise that email phishing in terms of like security automation will kind of always be up the top here. Um, I guess kind of jumping straight into it that I'm pretty sure everyone on a pretty much daily or hourly basis gets an email, which might look a little bit suspicious. It's telling me to do something urgently, like reset a password, uh, secure my account, give up some more personal identifiable information. Um, I might want to do some analysis on myself. So if I see these URLs, which look a little bit strange, I see an attachment, I don't know what that's about, or other email addresses. I can go to like virus total URL scan and do all of this analysis myself manually, but this will like take time. If I'm on a security team, like this could take maybe five, 10, 15 minutes um, if I want to do it properly. And then like there could be more uh, tickets, et cetera, waiting for me. Or if I'm even just a normal, like Joe Blogs has no idea about cybersecurity. I don't know how to analyze this or what's the first step. So this the story here you can see that we've ran it a few times just to uh, make sure everything's working so we can see here up at the top we have three different ways of how we can submit an email we have a nice kind of times page which is a fully customizable web ui you can send this to all of your departments saying like hey if any of you spot an email submit it through this you just give the email file here and then your email address of where you want the results sent to um, and we also support sending the email content over via HTML webhook or a forwarding email address. All that you need to do is, again, send this to your employees saying, hey, if anything looks a little bit suspicious, forward it on here. And then like we'll give it a look and do all of the analysis for us. So we can see that once the email comes in, within time, we're able to parse out all of the bits of information so that we can have something to reference and like send to a few different places. So over here on the left, we have this times action to extract any email addresses mentioned either in the body, sender, et cetera. And then we send that over to emailrep.io, one of Sublime Security's uh, features, just to kind of get an idea to see, have we seen this email address before? Does it look suspicious or not? Similarly, with any URL that's found in the email, we take those out and then send it to URL scan. So that will give us another kind of reputation check to see how is everything looking. And then over here for any attachments, um, a bit of a less thorough analysis, we just send it over to VirusTotal saying, hey, have you seen this before? And if so, what's it looking like? So see here in times, we have all of these branches out, it comes together. 
And so we have two different ways on how we can see these results. One of them is in a, another nice times page and we can expand here. Just leave it smaller for the moment. So we can see here on the left, the different types of information in the middle of the individual um, like pieces from the email, which were extracted out and then the reputation here. So we can see none, low, high. So none means probably we haven't seen before. We might need to do more thorough analysis, maybe use a different tool or something like that. And then say high or low reputation means this is looking more or less trustworthy. Now with these kind of results, you're probably going to want to do some additional analysis, but at least as a like initial gut check, it gives you something to work with and that you can like do further analysis on. And then what also happens is that you get an email. So say if you're working on a security team or if you want to forward this on to someone else, you have all this information that you can easily send on or refer back to at a later date. Cool. Thank you. Straightforward. I like this one because like you said, it's something that pretty much every single organization without fail is going to have this problem today and will continue for the foreseeable future. And the story sure. itself, like it looks like it's where Tynes maybe got its name from. It's like got the actual forks in there. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit of a stranger fork. I guess maybe if I stretch it out. Okay. That looks a little bit ugly, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, like to me, it's no surprise that this is the most popular story. I would be very surprised that if we come back in six months or so that this will still be, I would say at least in the top five. Um, like it's something, whether you're into cybersecurity or not, like I know I am a part of Tynes, but this is pretty much a, like everyone should be using. Um, like you saw how easy it is. All I just need to do is submit a uh, drag and drop the email file into this page or send it on here. And without me needing to know any cybersecurity terms or information that like, Hey, this gives me a like low high, at least gives me something to work with. Um, so yeah. Cool. Love it. Well, good first one. Thanks, Michael. Hope we uh, get to have you back on again soon. Sure. Definitely. Uh, thanks for having me on and hope we all have a good weekend. You too. See ya. All right. See ya.